Good morning to everyone. Today we are going to see a wonderful story that is a Chinese saint. It was written by Nikolai Dostig and Maya Mashak. We will see the story by a picture for each. Come on friends, now we will see the story. In a village on the slopes of Mount Kenya in East Africa, a little girl was working with her mother in the fields. Her name was Wangari. This pink color girl, she was Wangari. And this orange color, she was her mother. Wangari broke up the soil and planted some seeds in the warm earth, knowing that, that they would grow into plants in her food garden. Wang seemed to. Wangari told to her father that, I want to go to school. Her father told, but Wangari, we want you to help us in the fields with us. Wangari's brother talked to their parents. Wangari's brother told, Please let Wangari to go to school. See this green color. He was Wangari's brother. Wangari's mother told, Yes, she can go to school. Wangari herself read more and learn more. She did so well in school. Knowing this, the American University invited her which is in the country of United States of America. She was so excited and she told to herself that this is a chance to learn more about the world. In the American University, she learned more about plants and how they grew. She remembered how she grew, playing with her brother in the shades of the Kenyan forest. When she completed her studies, as she studied, she remembered her African home. When she returned to her African home, see this green color was Wangari. Now we'll go to next. But her country was changed. People had no wood for cooking. People were very poor. Children were hungry. But Wangari knew what to do. She distributed some seeds to the people. This yellow color was Wangari. So she distributed some seeds to the people. And the people planted the seeds and they grew into plants and they grow into trees. So they sold them and got money to look after their families. And the people told to Wangari, I'm so happy Wangari. Thank you for feeling, for making us feel 
strong and powerful. As the time passed, the trees grew up into forest and the river started flowing again. Wangari's message spreads across Africa. Today the millions of trees are grown with the seeds she distributed. A little girl in Kenya used a power of a tiny seed to make changes to her country. For Wangari's great work, all the people in the world took notice of her great work and she got the Nobel Prize. She was the first woman in Africa to get the Nobel Prize ever. But Wangari Mathai died in 2011. But when we look at uh, every beautiful tree, we think of her. Thank you, friends. This is by Kartik Raja. Bye-bye.